Hi everyone, in this video we will create a sign up form using react.js and we will use node.js for backend to insert records into the mysql database. So let's get started. So let's first of all set up our environment for developing this sign up page using react.js with node.js and mysql database. So let's come to the backend folder. CD backend inside this first of all we will create environment for our backend node.js server so for that i will write uh, npm in it hyphen y okay press enter so it will create a package.json file inside yeah package.json file has created so now let's install a few packages npm yeah npm install first one is the express we will use express which is a framework for the node.js um, the second one is the mysql so it is the mysql package the third one is the uh, course if you would like to interact it means to get our backend api node.js api in our frontend so we need course to implement or to access them and the fourth one is nodemon this one is to automatically refresh our backend server okay whenever we make a change so it will refresh that so press enter so it will install all these packages yeah the package has installed see it has set up so now we will create a file inside backend folder by the name of server.js so inside this server.js we will write our express or node.js um, code so before that let's come to package.json and come to under this uh, we installed nodemon okay so for that we will write start and here we will write nodemon server.js it is our file okay server.js so it will run this file this file automatically whenever we make changes so to run the backend it means the server so first of all let's write uh, we will import const express is equal to require express after that const mysql is equal to require mysql and also const course is equal to require course let's uh, initialize our uh, app our express so for that i will write a uh, const app is equal to um, we will call the express so express method so after that let's initialize also these cards so we will write app dot use we will use cards inside that okay so now let's run our server for that we will write app dot listen it will listen on a port so here we will assign a port for example 8081 it will be a port our server will run on this port and here let's create a function and we will print a message console.log listening okay so let's run our server so for that we will write npm start so it will start our server uh, sorry there is a mistake where yeah so let's yeah we should write it inside the quotation okay yes yeah the file has refreshed there cannot access course so our app is running so let's check it yeah it is running see this thing has printed here and also if we write uh, uh, something on our browser so let's write here yeah our server is running so let's come here oh yeah localhost instead of 3000 we will add 8081 yeah our server is uh, right now we don't have any git method api to call that okay so our backend server has prepared so now let's come to the front end so for the front end we will create our react app so you can use white or you can use the 
uh, the npx okay npx create react app after creation i have already installed my react app yeah it is the front end the react app that i have created okay so now first of all we will create a login form so let's create a new form a new company plugin dot js so let's write our code we will create our sign up page sorry this should be sign up rename it yeah it's okay so now let's create our sign up page i am using for the design bootstrap so i have installed bootstrap inside this front end uh, app so you maybe use children css or material ui or just css simple css but i am using a bootstrap for designing duplex width would be 108 bh 108 bg would be 5 justify center I will just try the design then I will show you okay because it will take time so I wrote this code for the design see it okay this is the upper sign up page and this is for the name and for email and also for the password and this is for the submit and a login button so let's check it how it looks like first we will import our sign up inside our app let's import it and let's use it yeah the app.js is imported inside the index yeah that is important so let's run our uh, local server um, front end npm start so it will start our front end up yeah see it this sign up form was created for us so now let's um, try to um, whenever we enter the data so we should store that in the mysql database so for the mysql i am using zam server mysql you may be installed uh, mysql separately but i am using zam server inside that i am using the um, mysql see let's start the mysql and yeah allow access allow access okay so now let's uh, write the code whenever we press submit uh, sign up button so we should uh, register uh, save this in the, our mysql database so the mysql database has running let's come to the mysql database I will go to my PHP my admin so we will create a database yeah so we already have a uh, sign up a database okay in the sign up we have a table by the name of login okay in this login we have um, four fields ID name and uh, also the password so now let's uh, we will use the same table okay in the same uh, uh, database so let's first of all create connection with the mysql database in our node.js so i came to server.js file so one thing else i should uh, um, write that is app.use sorry app.use express.json it will uh, change parse all the data when we are passing to this server okay they will be changed to json format <coughs> const db is equal to mysql dot create connection so now let's pass the properties the first one is the host the host is the local host with us and the second one is the second one is the user the user is root with us by default in mysql and the password the password is nothing with us and the database database is sign up sign up database <coughs> so 
so now let's uh, write our API uh, first we will uh, just let's write up dot post and here our URL would be slash sign up and here we will get a request and response and in this arrow function now we will write first our query sql is equal to insert into login table and the values uh, we will insert into the um, name email and password field values would be we will attach the values later so now let's get our data from our um, this request okay whenever we pass the data okay whenever we press the submit button the data should be passed to this uh, request that will be attached with the request so we will write like this const values is equal to request dot body we will be attached with the body dot body dot we will pass name and also email and password after getting this so now let's ex execute our query so we will have db dot query and we will pass our um, sql plus our values and here we will get an error or the result the data so if there was any error so just return result.json our error else return data uh, so db result.json So now let's move back to our front end to handle it in our uh, sign up okay so now whenever we enter data so we will write here an object const values set values is equal to use state and we will get an object name email and also the password So now let's whenever we are writing in this name email and password we should store them in these variables so let's call here on change event send to that on change we will call handle change okay let's create this function const and then change is equal to we will get an event um, here we will just assign our values to that we will write call set values and here we will write the previous values and we will update event dot target dot name it should be we will assign to it event dot target dot value so let's assign name the yeah, name is name this name is name email and this is password okay so it will assign the values to these variables so now whenever we press the submit button so we should sign up for uh, call the backend api so for that we will write on submit handle submit let's copy this and we will write here const 
and to submit is equal to get an event here event dot prevent default default submission and after that we will call our api so for calling we can use pitch api and also we can use access library access dot post and here i will write my api the url of that so first let's import access access okay so the url would be let's come here to the url yeah this would be our url slash sign up okay we will come to this sign up and let's pass our data so here in this curly braces we will pass our data and we will write our object here values the values would be passed to that and then we will get a response so here we will just console that log registered successfully that cage if there was any error so console dot log error so i hope everything is okay so now let's try it let's come here and we will come here to our sign up form we will write a name here jamil jamil at gmail dot com and also the password one two three four five six seven eight let's press the sign up button let's move to the uh, console <coughs> come here to the console and here let's press the sign up button see register successfully okay let's check our uh, database so right now we have these two records so let's refresh it uh, let's refresh it uh, we didn't get our new record sign up plugin so let's check it where is the error so let's come to the server.js in the sign up forum we should uh, display the result for to handle the errors so here we will display result the data dot if the length was more than one so it means if the record was um, entered successfully registered in the database so then we will move to another page otherwise we will show the errors okay for that so now let's come to where is the error uh, here in the tool again everything is okay sign up okay come here to the values so let's remove these yeah so let's check it now come here to the let's press the sign up button so now let's refresh our database see the record has uh, registered successfully inserted successfully okay so if we write another one so let's write something new and also change the password let's press the sign up button see another record has registered inserted so let's press C. the record has inserted so it was all about um, sign up and registration forum using uh, react js with uh, node.js express uh, framework with mysql i hope this video was helpful for you if you like this video please subscribe our youtube channel thanks for watching